sequential order so that you can easily understand. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Oh, right. If this is the first time you're watching me, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's recap what we did in our last video. We learned 1. Introduction of Python, 2. Installation of Python, and last but not least, we have written our first Python program to print Hi Python. In this video, we're going to understand what is an interpreter, string, and expression. Also, we're going to learn how to create a Python file and save it. So, let's get right into it. Go to Idle. Click on the Idle app. Now here, click File and New File. Now you can see a new file pops up. So now, let's write my name. Type P-R-I-N-T, print, open parentheses, double quotation marks, and typical. So now, double quotation marks again, and close parentheses. Now, when we're done with our name, let's go ahead and do an imaginary dot. To do that, print, open parentheses, single quote, and O, and one, two, three, four dashes. A single quote again, and closed parentheses. Now, type print again, now open parentheses, single quote, give it a space, and now one, two, three, four. Four lines for the dot legs, and single quote, and closed parentheses. So now, let's save this Python file. To do that, press, um, click file, and save. So name your file, whatever name you like. I'm going to name it Python Session 2. Now, choose any folder you like. I'm going to click New Folder and save it. So when you're done saving your file, let's execute this file. Click on Run and Run Module. So now, as you can see here, now you can see here, the Python interpreter has run our Python program line by line. First, the Python interpreter knows how to translate our Python code to instructions that a computer can understand. First, it executes our line one, then our line two, then at last our line three. So now let's go back here. As you can see, instead of double quotation marks, I used single quotation mark, it which it means a string. A string is a programming term which means a series of characters. So now let's do another one. Now with a string you can make any an any shape as you like, like a heart or a ship or a boat. So now let's move on with um, type print, open, put, uh, open parentheses, single quote, now, asterisk, now closed single quote, give it a space and a single quote, space and n. Now close parentheses. Now let's save this file. Now let's execute it. Click run and run module. Now you can see here the Python 
the Python interpreter has executed our 10 asterisks. Let's go back here. See? Whenever we enclose anything with single quotes, the Python interpreter assumes it as a string. Now this asterisk is not is not with single quotes. So that means it is a math multiplication operator. And this is a number. So this means this asterisk this asterisk multiplied by 10 equals 10 asterisks. So this is an expression. An expression is a piece of code that produces a value. So let's recap what we did today. We learned about 1. Creating a file, saving it, and executing it. 2. We know what is an Python interpreter, string, and an expression. So, hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this session, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!